$68 chainsaw from Timo look like? Well, Ugh. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Of course, comes with a nice bar. Cover. What? Professional. Oh, this is what Pink White didn't give us. This would have been very helpful. Some tools. Okay, what we've been waiting for? What the heck? Why is this not on there? This is like, what color is this? This is like an orange red. Banjo, can I see it? Can I see it? Okay, I'm actually kind of disappointed. This is just a sticker and the sticker is coming off. The Chainsaw brand sticker. All the stickers are literally peeling off. I don't know why the case is not, the cover is not on, I don't know why. But you can kind of see what it looks like from this angle, look at that. I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. Guys, I don't know about this, <laughs> I don't know. It's like the size of a regular chainsaw. It's got some weight to it, not a lot, but a little bit. The handlebar feels really weird, like it feels super high up. Okay, the bag that the chains came in says, saw chain expert. <laughs> it's a 32558 gauge. Just so y'all know. This is a 20 inch bar. Sorry, it's a 20 inch professional bar. It is cheap, obviously. It's like impossible to put on a bar. Who thought this was a good idea? To tighten up your chain right here. Like, can't even be a joke. Nice. Hey, okay guys, what do you think? Let's run it. All right. So, this takes 80, 25, the one, cause that's weird. And, ooh, I didn't like how that felt, taking that off. Ah! Now, luckily for us, we already made a 25, the one for the pink way, cause that's what the pink way takes. Um, so, ooh, I'm so not used to holding a two gallon thing. Cause I use aspen fuel and I only get the quarts cause I can handle that. Anything above a quart, I spill. Why can't I screw this on? This is like very delicate. Whoa. Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't leak. I don't know about these seals. The sealed, the seal, I can't talk. I really don't know about that. Okay, here's the test. Does it leak? Is it leaking? I don't see anything. There's something still rattling in there. Ooh, okay. Oh, should we start it up? Get my little foot in there. Start this thing.
the bolt literally came off. <laughs> yeah, we're not finishing this cut, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I hate to break it to you, but it cuts! And it starts up! It just falls apart in mid-cut! That was scary. That's why I'm always checking everywhere when I'm cutting. You're like, oh, you don't know the handle chainsaw. Yes, I do. <laughs> this back end has always popped up though. That's the thing, like whenever we got it and this cover was not on the saw. Why is this not on there? Why is that not on there? And I said in the video, why is the cover not on the saw? Why is this not on there? And I said that for a reason. Because I know for like my Makitas, if the cover is not on the saw and it's just laying around and like you have something on it or whatever, it can get distorted. Like the case cannot fit the saw correctly anymore. And I know that for experience, so I can say that. And this does not fit the saw right. I think there might have to, we might have to like cut. I think it's this thing. I don't know what it's called. The sawdust protector thingy where it just guides the sawdust to shoot out. I don't know what the, what it's called, but I think this is too thick. And I think that's what's kind of pushing it up. But these are bolts. Like these aren't bolts. They should have hold it. Should have held it in the place. So I don't know if it just is really bad threading or what, I have no idea. But I'm glad we bought it. I still had fun using it that one time. It's very similar to the pink way. Like, it's got the same like skeleton of it. The handle is definitely higher up. The handle's higher. It jingles, there's something jingling in there. I don't know what. I haven't even opened it up. Like, I don't know what the air filter looks like or anything in here. But the same, like, the switch is the same. It's got the throttle lock. <laughs> I don't know why China's like, let's put a throttle lock on a saw that doesn't really work and falls apart halfway through a cut. That's cool. But I like it that they named it chainsaw. And something else that we noticed is that it literally says, never erred pure, pure gasoline. That's how you know that it's from China. <laughs> All right, so we are not done with this saw. We're actually gonna take it back to the shop and look at it scope it out and hopefully we can use this again because I know people have questions I have questions I would like to make at least one full cut with it chainsaw chainsaw look at that beautiful view so pretty all right that's today's video thanks for watching guys subscribe see you in the next one